Right, good morning from beautiful Northern Wyoming. It's a nice 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, nice temperature for rocking. No mud. Cool enough to birds won't overheat, and I won't overheat. But not cold enough to be, you know, like cold. I am a little bit short-handed today. Ooh, there's one grouse. Let's see if I can mark him because this could be really helpful. Okay, there's two of them, and they landed right there. Okay, let me get a little bit farther away. As I was saying, I'm a little short-handed because um, Astro cut his leg two days ago on a fence. I'll, I'll put a link to that video in the description. And um, it, it's right on the front of his leg, a place that um, we need to let it heal for a while before. I had it stitched up at a veterinarian, but it's got to knit real tight before I think about running and don't want to rip it back open again. So all I've got is a puppy, Pongo. And um, he's not, you know, to a point where we can expect him to hold point, you know, while I get a bird up. But he can definitely find birds. Okay. Two grouse landed right out there. Um, so this can work. I was just expecting to fly pigeons today. But um, we got lucky. Get transmitters turned on here. Pongo, 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 she's going way wide. Pongo, come here, hold up. She's getting some good air. I don't want to let him get into them until. Pongo, come here. Come here, right here. Pongo. What is she doing? Pongo, ah, ah. Pongo, stay. She's like stooping at something over there. Pongo, kennel. Kennel. Okay, well, I could see her down over that way and she stooped at something. She's like a half mile away and she's circling now. Huh. And she's just going farther away and she's circling. I can get her back and salvage a flight. She obviously saw something. Might have been a feral pigeon, who knows what. Couldn't tell. I just could barely see her going down and the, the GPS of course indicated that. She's not particularly high. She's 138 feet above me. Only 28 miles an hour. She's not chasing anything anymore. She's kind of circling. She doesn't start coming pretty soon. I'll just have to pull out the lure and call her in and give up on it. Yeah, I think I need to swing the lure, see if I can get her back. Hopefully I don't have to go get her. She's milling around down there a half mile away, over a half mile now. I'll walk skyline on this ridge back and forth so a little more obvious to her from a distance. She 
she starts coming, I'll get farther away from this fence, but... I want to be up here where I'm visible to her. She is not coming. She might be now. Her speed's picking up a little. 40 miles an hour. She's coming, but not exactly straight toward me. She's going over the interstate overpass there. Now she turned again. Being almost a mile away, I don't think there's any chance she could hear me, so I don't think there's any point in hollering. Up on a hill, good and visible, where she should be able to see me. So that's why I'm holding out hope that she'll still come back. It's always best to get him to come back to the field you left from just to build that habit. But if it doesn't happen pretty soon, I'm gonna have to go to her. And she's going the wrong direction now. out of the field. She's sort of coming the right direction. Let me get up here where she can see me. I'll swing my lure. She's not responding. What's she doing now? I think she's circling again. She just keeps flying. I wonder if she's getting harassed by some wild raptor or something.
Manchester. She doesn't stop flying either. That's odd. Why she wouldn't try to come back to me looking for me. She either lost track of where I was or doesn't care to come back or is distracted by something else. Okay, we're getting close. We're half a mile away is all. Okay, she's right above this road. Okay, is that the... Maybe it's a crow chasing or harassing her. Yeah. She's right up here. Raven, or maybe she's harassing it. Hey! Woo! Hey! Come on! Yeah, she's getting harassed by ravens. And that one might be an eagle. Oh, is that her? Gotta get a little closer and see if I can ward off the ravens chasing her and get her called in. Get out of my way. I gotta get up here to get across the railroad tracks to get over to her. Okay, she stopped. She's landed. Yeah, that's definitely an eagle. Young bald eagle. Might have been pretty sure one of those things that was harassing her up there was an eagle and the ravens. Okay, if you locks up and hang a left, and I should be right to her. She'll probably be in a tree or on the roof. Yeah, it's right up here. There's a bunch of trees. Oh, and she's moving. A little nervous this odd situation. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, she's a little freaked out. She landed on that tree right behind that house. Let's drive around the corner. Maybe there's a better place to call her down and Yeah, 
there's a little lot back here. Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! There's a red tail up there in the tree. Hey! Oh. And a dog. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hi, Spongo. Hey, come on. Oh, she can't see me from here. Hey. Oh, there she is. Hey. Yeah, she's concerned with the red tail up there. She's on the top of the roof. I can get her on the other side now. Where is she? Away from this dog. Come here. She's afraid to commit and land on it. I think she'd be tired after all her flying. She wants to pack it off somewhere safe to eat. Because she doesn't like this area. Now she's going over there. Got a pigeon I could put on a string if I need to. This over here will be a lot more, less hectic of a spot to call her down. Bigger yards, more grass. Where is she? Hey, come on. Where are you going now? She's going back to where she was. Now they get freaked out when something chases them and Start kind of acting weird. I don't think she saw me over here. She's back to where I was. I think she's looking for me. Just where I left from. This came from. Yep. 
I see a red tail over there. She's probably harassing it, trying to chase it off. Well, she's definitely putting some miles under her belt this morning. She's coming back this way. Something new to you. Just trying to shut off my truck. She's pretty worked up. Okay, well, Cosmo's safely back in the truck. She was pretty worked up. Can't blame her, having been chased by ravens, uh, at least one young bald eagle, and that red tail was definitely interested. I think that was just at the end of the tree, but anyway, that was quite the adventure for her. We had some grouse marked and didn't get a fly him. But the most important thing is she's back safe. Anyways, I was starting to say when I saw the grouse that Astro got a pretty good cut on him. He's, um, it's on the front of his leg too where it bends a lot. Had the vet stitch it up, but he needs to, you know, maybe a week or so off for his knit back together before we try and run him again. We don't want that opening back up. So since I don't have a dog to, to find birds, I'll um, just be flying pigeons or if I get lucky and mark some birds. I've got a few places that uh, Huns like to habitually hang out in. And you know, there's a several acre spot where there's a reasonable chance they'll be. And so I can just go there with some pigeons and run Pongo, see if he can find them. Right now I'm headed back to the field I was flying her in so I can run Pongo. I wanna run him a bunch this morning. I've got pigeons that I never used. I can plant and launch her and stuff. And, get him some practice on those which he desperately needs but also I want to work a bunch of energy out of him because at home he wants to play with Astro and Astro I don't want him playing and you know tearing out his stitches so I want to wear out Pongo as best I can so he'll sleep which is hard because he's got lots of energies just turned a year old a few days ago but we'll do my best and um, get that energy worked off and get Astro healed up and all that stuff, anyway. <laughs> that was quite the adventure this morning. Maybe we'll have a little better luck tomorrow, but I guess we were lucky. Nobody got hurt. And um, we'll try again tomorrow. And as always, thank you for watching. in the field where we started the flight from I see a bunch of ravens right up here not very far from where I was flying her 
wonder if there's some roadkill or something. This end down here is right by the interstate. I bet there's a fresh deer or something. I bet that's what all the ravens and the eagles are here doing. And she probably was stupid and stooped at a raven to harass it off and got them all ticked off and the tables turned on her. That would be my guess, but it's hard to say for sure. But anyway, I get after running Pongo here.